Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, and welcome to NF Geeks. Well, with us uh, here again is uh, David Kersey um, of Kersey.com. David, welcome. Ooh. Yeah, okay. welcome very much. Um, all right, so, David, uh, one of the things you mentioned when we were um, uh, just talking before, earlier before, is about the, you know, your view on the differences between, and I love the term you use, the two religions, you know, of MBTI and Kersey. And so... Um, what I want you to do is what is the difference and why, you know, what is the difference between them? Uh, what do you think about, uh, you know, what is one missing over the other? You know, let's start with that. Uh, yeah. You know, what, what is the difference? Yeah, well, I should do is talk a little about the history. Uh, yes. Of, okay. So, as it turns out, um, Isabel Myers and Kathleen Briggs, um, uh, Kathleen Briggs is her mother of of as Isabel Myers uh, um, had uh, gotten interested in um, Jung's uh, book called uh, well, I've forgotten what the book it is but uh, personality types I think right. um, and uh, they had uh, Isabel Myers basically created a test in the in the in the t in the forties for for various reasons for the army and things like that. And my father um, is was a psychologist. Um, he became a psychologist after the war. He was a uh, Marine fire pilot, and then went to school on the G GI Bill. And he got interested in psychology. Um, and so he had read. He actually had read Jung before, um, but uh, he did couldn't make much sense out of him, out, out of it. And he had gotten involved and in, and. In, Started of understood things from and learned about a guy named Kretschmer. That's Kretschmer. I uh, had talked about how people kind of went crazy, and so he was. But he also was a became a clinical school psychologist. In other words, he was he was on the front lines of the school systems where kids were getting in trouble. Uh, actually, he started actually in a in a, a juvenile delinquent ranch. And he was he, but he realized that there weren't any really good methods of being able to change people's behavior, make them uh, do, you know, uh, feel better about themselves, and you know, kind of not hurt themselves and other people. So he started gathering techniques, um, and so, but he his background was that he had understood. Um, Behavior, he because he watched people in the behavior, and so lo and behold, about 1956, he discovered, um, he took the Myers Briggs test, and he found out that he was a particular type of person, and he then connected that fairly quickly, with oh yeah, well the people go crazy in the kind of in the in the general, in a, uh, the same way as they of their personality is. So he it. Then basically took Kretschmer's uh, temperaments, which are mm -hmm. fairly old. Actually, there are there are the Greeks had talked about temperaments, the four te the, the four temperaments, and he basically then proceeded to adopt uh, Isabel Myers' uh, 16 because he he met, he saw the 16 types of people as mm -hmm. his kids. I have a question. How did he? How did? How was he able to like connect, like the SJs and the SPs together? I don't know. This well, may be crazy because I could see no. why the NFs would go together and the NTs without knowing anything about your father's work. But right. how did he arrive at? Because I think he's right about it. So, but right. how did he arrive at that SJs and SPs? Those eight or those four in each group go together. Uh, the, that's the thing. Uh, what happened was that the four temperaments. Are the are the essentially the SJ and the SP, uh, but in in a in a in a kind of a crazy the crazy way you know. There's Kretschmer talked about hypomanics and depressives, okay, and of course my father was paying attention to what people do, right? Mm -hmm. And he he had actually observed some uh, essential hypertension people that were uh, that got electric shock and he realized these were normal people and they were all guardians 
Mm. So really, yeah. So he he's he basically been observing people ever since you know obviously before before the war and after the war he it was it was business to figure out okay what what do people do you know see say and do and he started finding patterns uh, and they basically were the temp the temperaments so he then realized he he then essentially saw the Kretschmer model uh, in a, in the crazy way uh, that it matched uh, the normal you know normal behavior or, pro or productive behavior of Myers the 16. So basically, he just he just realized that the the SJs and the SPs were a, more of a, the temperaments mm -hmm. as opposed to whereas Isabel Myers falling young, assumed that essentially that I, E and I are is big in the Jung, Jungian thing, right? Because it's so observable. I mean, you mm -hmm. can tell, you can see an extrovert, right? right? Okay, or, it, or, or in English it's called gregarious. People yeah. are gregarious. But you can also observe people that are quiet, right? I and mean, if they're quiet and they're, they're attentive, you can observe that too. So my f father, being uh, realizing that the the medic community, the psychiatrists were using Greek words to confuse people to think that they're experts, and they really didn't have any background in, in psycho psychology, uh, and just giving people pills. That they were, you know, that was a bad thing to do, and so you had to figure out what words meant, you know. As opposed to you know trying to make things uh, like that they knew what they were talking about, like schizophrenia, which means split mind in Greek, and Greek means split mind. Well, the 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 medics have been using that word to, to say, well, he's you're schizophrenic, or you're bipolar, or whatever, but give a label, give a pill, and make money. That and so he basically. Isabel Myers showed the 16 types, right? Basically mm -hmm. took the three scales of Jung, EI, NS, uh, TF, added the PJ scale, which you know, it's not very clear in Jung's writings. Uh, he just, t he didn't really talk about, it. he talked about archetypes, and he didn't really talk about personalities. So he, I'm not sure what his view of Isabel Myers. I'm sure, like all 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 theoreticians, they don't like anybody else's mucking with their stuff. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, so uh, essentially, uh, Isabel Myers came up with the 16 types, and my father s noticed the patterns within those types to go uh, either. Uh, SP or SJ, you know. So he was the one that said, "No, it's not a SFs, STs. It's it's SPs and SJs." And then proceeded to put weird words as opposed to letters, which could mean anything to anybody at, at the time. Mm -hmm. So a classic example is I've met people, and you know, somebody says, "Oh, I, you know, I, I loved your father's work, and uh, and I'm an ESPN." And so <laughs> that's like that's oh, wonderful. Uh, it's like uh, no, <laughs> you know what can you what can you say to the person? You know uh, yeah. they don't the, they can use the words and it's it's meaningless or or it's very meaningful to people. So the hmm. tiny nineties, you know the N E and the N I and all this kind of stuff. If you're you're if you're versed in that, that's fine and dandy. But most people don't know what you're talking about, and can't 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 get it. So mm. my father always was interested in in explaining things so that people can understand. And uh, and the problem with Isabel Meyer's stuff, I mean, she's great stuff. If without my Isabel uh, showing it to my father, okay, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have seen it. He would just stuck with the Kretschmer's model with the four temperaments, right. the four temperaments. 
but the 16 types definitely are patterns of, for the individuals that are, that are very clear. Uh, but again, all these are models. I mean, that, that's the first thing is they're all models. There's no such thing as an ISTJ. There's no such thing as an ENFP. They're, that's labels that you use to explain people's behavior. It's true those patterns seem to be very, very, in, you know, it, it gives use. In other words, one of, the, one of my father's uh, heroes is William James. And he was oh, a pragmatist. Yes. Okay, he was a pragmatist, and he basically said, uh, "What's the cash value? Okay, what's the cash value of, let's say, Kersey temperament? Uh, what's the good cash value of, of, of Isabel Myers, or Jungian thing? Well, it gives you more insight into the individuals. You know, how much in, uh, insight is up to the individual? Okay." Uh, so that's one of the problems with temperament is people say, well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know anything about that. You know, people change and, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, I'm not going to bother with it. I mean, that's what most people's reaction to temperament is. Well, you know, I don't want to be put in a box, right? Oh, yeah. If but I had a nickel. If I had a nickel. Uh, <laughs> right. But if you do start learning it, it gives you more and more insight. You know, and well, that solves your problems in life. Well, you know, obviously, it doesn't always happen. It ha happens. It's a theory. It's a good theory. You know, it does have it has value, and it's you know, it's, it, people have come to my father or, or written to my father and said, "You saved my life." You know, oh wow! You saved my marriage, or whatever. So it has uh, it has had some value in the in the past, and I'm sure it'll have value in the future. Uh, so, what, what do you think? Um, uh, all right, do you see um, your father's work and your work and and Isabel Meyer's work as being one system, or are these two separate systems? No, the theoretically, they they she found some patterns that my father uh, basically agrees with, but they 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 don't correspond theoretically; they okay. correlate. In other words, oh. so for example, let's take the, the classic example, okay, extrovert and introvert. My father basically abandoned sure. the, the notion of extrovert and introvert because it's a German, it's a German word in the 1850s that Jung put at. Well, in English, we have gregarious, we have shy, okay, but he, he decided well, that it's too confusing. Uh, and sa sa same thing with, with the... Jung's intuitive versus sensing. Well, he he would use the word from good from Goldstein. I mean, there are there are people that have come up with the different the different scales. Okay, um, and introvert extrovert is you know fairly common, right? That's that's a German Germanized word, Latinized, nineteen eighty Jung picked it up, but it's so shy and gregarious. Uh, then uh, the uh, Goldstein is abstract versus concrete. And that's what my father prefers in terms of N versus S. Oh. You know, pe some people are, are more abstract in their thoughts or are introspective. Introspective, in other words, people tend to look inside uh, for their models. Um, and then uh, versus... Uh, uh, Introspective versus uh, observant. The I, the artisans and the guardians are very observant. The outside, okay. So their models are based on whatever's picked up in the society. In other words, if you if you're a uh, a Muslim, then you've accepted those concepts, or and and percepts, and you go with those. Whereas the rationals, and the idealists are always well, you know, uh, let me have my own concepts that I that I generate from either from from an objective and the rational. The, the, the rational would be objective in his or try to be objective. <laughs> Nobody's really objective uh, in in mon in the concepts, uh, and the idealists are more subjective. You know, uh, you know. So you're 
you're a subjective. So, so theoretically, my father talks about uh, the introspective, uh, uh, cooperative type. You're an introspective, cooperative type. Uh, so he, he uses cooperation versus competition or mm -hmm. utilitarianism as a, as a basis as opposed to thinking versus feeling and sensing versus intuition mm -hmm. like, because they don't really get to the thing. Because we're in t the rationals, we're not really in, we don't trust intuition. We, int we, int we, int we trust lo uh, logic or deduction induction and in, in deduction. Right. So, so you know, each of the words that you use to describe what people think and do uh, give you some kind of an understanding of what it is. So it just, again, it's a model. So my father's model is based uh, more, more, a theoretical model is completely different in the sense that uh, the abstract and concrete is essentially similar, right? And the but the cooperative, utilitarian, or pragmatic, is completely different. That they didn't have the notion. Jung and and and, and Isabel Myers didn't have that notion, so they couldn't see they couldn't see the 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 SP and the SJ. The SP right. and SJ are not Jungian or Miserian. So when people say an SJ an SP, they're talking Kersey. They're not yes. really talking Myers. Okay. So, you know, whereas the, the Jungians, you know, called me son of Sam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was once called, oh, here's the son of Sam. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, well, uh, there really is religious issues oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> everything degenerates into a religion sooner or later. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. really. Well, uh, yeah, that's my, my theory is everything is yeah. a religion. In the Actually, all of that, that leads to a, a, a question that I wanted to ask you, and that is: is that what are the what are the biggest criticisms you have to face about the theory, like or like and, and biggest? It doesn't mean they're right, but it's the one you hear over and over and over that this is are wrong. Are you talking about You're, Kersey or Myers Briggs in, in general? Oh no, of uh, of you guys of Kersey. When somebody Kersey. says, "Here's oh. why Kersey is wrong," and you know, it doesn't oh. mean it is wrong, but you know, what do you hear all the time? You know, when they shoot their guns at you, what are they shooting? <laughs> oh, they're they're always saying, "Well." He's just a, he's uh, he's uh, well the 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 Miserians say well it's it's not it's not Myers you know really uh, 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 he 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 so he, he that was kind of, he 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 kind of eventually he he was interested in the Myers uh, the community uh, for many many years but eventually he just got to the point where you know they were they saying well you know that you're mess you're messing with you're messing with the religion, so he just said, "Well, forget it. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna abandon it." And well, he did, went his own. Did, did he present some of these ideas about the temperaments to the Myers Briggs community oh, yeah. first? Really, yes. I didn't know that. And they told him to take a hike, or they told him well, no. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, um, yeah, Peter, uh, Peter Myers actually was uh, positive towards him, and Kathleen Myers, uh, Peter's uh, the son of Isabel. And Kathleen was the wife of Peter. Mm -hmm. um, they were interested. Uh, Isabel wasn't she sure, but then she was she pretty old at the time. But I mean, my father Isabel sent uh, my father uh, original original um, reprints of the My Isabel the Myers Briggs type indicator uh, in 1950s uh, 1958. Wow. So I actually have a copy of that. Uh, oh, mimeograph copy of, yeah. of, the, of the of the work, so I mean, they they are acted, but I think the community, you know, the people like Mary McCauley and all these other people, they had their own little fiefdoms, and you know, Jeez. Uh, the, you know, but that hey, that's 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 re that's politics, that's religion. No, that's, I know. Hey, I, I I live in that <laughs> world on YouTube. With yeah, personality yeah. type, so but it's funny to hear that it actually happened in, about the yeah. big people. You know. Yeah, well, it, e it even happens in science, right? I mean, yeah. you know, there's politics in science, so I mean, yeah, you know, that 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 whole thing happens. You know, the religion. So I, you know, I basically say there's no essential difference between uh, religion and politics, and of course, 
politics. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> well, do you think? Um, um, well, when when it comes to the descriptions of the types, um, do you feel those things are really together at all? Or well, is again, the descriptions. You know, the descriptions are essentially, most of the descriptions come from my father. Mm -hmm. If you look at Isabel Meyer's descriptions, they're very, very short, okay? So a lot of the things that they attribute to Isabel Meyer's actually are my father's descriptions. He was the one that filled them out, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay. That, but, you know what? That's When I think about it, that's true, but it didn't occur to me until you just said it. Like, of yeah. course, that's how it is. Like, oh, my gosh. Do you guys feel then ripped off at all? No. I mean, my father, he's, he was never interested. He he's, a, he's a scientist in the mm -hmm. sense that he, I mean, he, he gave up on trying to, you know, convince the community, right? Because he was, he was called awful Tel Aviv, you know, an infant, in, their infant a terrible infant. In French, really? yeah. So I mean, but that's you know that's politics and that's that's money, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, and money is right. money. Everybody, so I mean, you know, I mean, he's gotten more. He's also gotten flack from the medical community because he's is anti, you know, drugging. Because he's he's watched the the evolution of the drugging of kids and adults and babies, oh, and. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, there's, what, $40 billion worth of, of, of drugs that are given to people, you know. Uh, you know it's, it's a big business. And he's been always been a critic of uh, drugging people. And they say, well, you know, what can you do? And they say, well, yeah, you can't do anything because psychology is still very, very primitive. But there are techniques, you know, Erickson hmm. techniques um, that are known. It's just that they're not widespread. So there actually is a there actually is an interesting article um, just recently um, that I've been pushing, and that is it's called uh, Sla "Fast Ideas versus Slow Ideas." Oh, I, what does that mean? Essentially, um, in eighteen the eighteen fifties and sixties, there was some technology that was that was uh, that was that was generated right. That was anesthetics, anesthetics, and um, and the uh, and also uh, what the anesthetics like in uh, ether that people adopted, and then but there's the to kill germs. What was the that uh, uh, can't think of the word, Brad? And uh, uh, you know carbolic acid and all that kind of stuff um, okay. to kill germs. Um, can't think of the word right now. I'm Tim seeing my senior moment. Uh, uh, essentially, the anesthesia uh, was adopted very quickly. You know, the doctors, because it, you know, patients are screaming bloody murder. Okay, <laughs> uh, and essentially they uh, uh, they stop you know screaming once they once they're under and, and people would wouldn't die. Okay, but and uh, cleaning the bacteria off. The doctors did not accept it for years, and a guy named John Lister uh, spent, you know, the next 20 years trying to convince people eventually that they should clean their hands and clean their instruments and etc. But it took a long time. So that's the same thing with, I think, temperament and mm. you know, and psychology, because we don't have the techniques uh, are 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 e not easily spread, um, and the practitioners. Don't learn them, okay? So it's much easier just to give people a pill, right? Go away, and uh, take you know take take a pill that make you depressed, you know what call calmers. There are four mm -hmm. kinds of pills, right? There are calmers, which are basically marijuana and and cigarettes, right? It makes you calm, okay? It's like oh relax, okay? And then there's alcohol and uh, various other things to make you kind of uh, relax and be you know, down, right? That's alcohol. Those are downers. Uh, and then there are uppers, right? Ephetamines to keep people from, you know, being more, more focused. But also for kids, they, they, they get to the point where uh, the reason that they give it to kids is because the kids are tired because they don't get very good sleep. 
because they've been, you know, they take the bennies or the mm. or the or the speed or the rid or the Ritalin uh, to make them so they won't sleep very much and uh, and so they're they're tired the next day so they don't give as much problem, you know, to the teachers. So that that whole th my father was you know anti drugs, um, and but the problem is psych psychologists there aren't many of the psychologists can can cure people and it's a lot, a lot what do you harder. Think, what do you think about um, psychology's uh, personality theory about you know source trait theory you know the big five? Do you the think they got something? Um, is there any way this can connect to to your father's work? Or are they just it's a, it's jerks a to you? Yeah, it's a different slice and dice. Okay. Okay. Uh, in other words, um, and they some some of them, like the M M M I P I, oh, yeah. the negative versus positive. You know, like, well, are you how neurotic are you? Uh, I you know the I looked at the fo big five, um, and you know enneagram and uh, you know astrology. <laughs> I mean, astrology sure. is an, is another way. You know. Yeah. It, as long well, as you make a well, decision. What do you think of the Enneagram? I got a lot of people on the forum who are just all crazy about it. Uh, what are your opinions about the Enneagram? Well, I, th I think it's, you know, it's, 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 it's called a poor version. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I th yes. <laughs> I mean, again, what's its cash value? What do you get out of it? Okay. So if, if the patterns are a little more, I mean, you can basically, you know, tea leaves, right? You put a a little thing here and you think, well, you know, I should do, is I should attack tomorrow or today, you know, well, maybe it, the, the fact is should, you should attack today and you shouldn't attack tomorrow because, you know, whatever reason. So whatever reason, the people making decisions, as a, you know, whatever reason it is, okay, uh, is better than no decision at all sometimes. Sure. So, so you know, People can live by astrology. Of course, it's, it is random, right? The astrology is random, and enneagrams is you know kind of a it's not a very scientific, right? Whereas my father, he took a sort of a Hegelian uh, polarization point of view. So you want to basically get your main your major factors in terms of what temperament is. So in some sense, the major factors are how abstract are you. How concrete are you? Mm. Okay. How cooperative are you? How co uh, collaborative are you? Okay. And then how you know how uh, uh, expressive are you uh, versus attentive? So that I mean that's one of the differences like in Kersey now is that <coughs> so that let's take the the ENTP in the Myers terms. Sure. Uh, my father calls them the inventors, or they actually he calls them. The modelers, mm -hmm. he had always playing with his words. But uh, there are plenty of modelers, ENTPs, like Tesla, my brother-in-law, that are not extroverted. You yeah. know, you couldn't call them extroverted. I mean, my 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 brother-in-law is a brilliant guy. He's created two fact two companies, and he is the mo He's shyer than I am. I mean, he he won't talk. To me or, or anybody else, uh, for various reasons, but he is expressive in building things, and just like Tesla, so uh, I and the Myers Briggs would say, well, okay, column column one, right? Let's choose E or I. Well, he's an I because he's at introverted, uh, whatever that means. Introvert means to in, in turn in. Uh, you know, and of course Jung said uh, it's uh, introversion version is uh, libido of uh, the libido flow of the libido from outward to inward or some I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Make, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so my father says, well, if one's expressive, physically, you know, like with tools or words, then you tend to be expressive. Uh, and then versus the attentive, where you tend to you tend to uh, be much more attentive to the, your environment as you're as you're doing things. So, the uh, inventor rational could be look very very introverted, you know, and probably to take the test. 
uh, you know, you'd be an INTP. But in reality, it's quite different from like me, who is, I am definitely introverted, but I'm also sh shy. But I can talk for hours right. on theory, right? I mean, you know, here I am. Right. right. Is the evidence. <laughs> the evidence. Yeah. I ta I'm talking forever right. and ever and ever. And my father and I used to talk for hours. And, you know, other people would just say, you know, why are you interested in whether a set is a subset of itself mm. or not? <laughs> yeah. Well, there, we got to uh, we got to finish. Got finish. Yeah, but I want to tell you, you know, um, uh, recently there was someone I knew who was looking. She was an INFP, but she wasn't sure, and she was trying to figure it out. And so she went on the internet and looked at a bunch of descriptions, and she said, "That's not me. I can't even take this seriously." And she went to Kersey.com and she read the INFP from you guys, and she went, "That's me." You know what I mean? It clicked. It clicked right away. So right. you know, you guys are onto something. All right, so um, David, thank you so much uh, for being in this episode. Um, for everybody watching, um, don't forget join the fun um, on the Facebook forum for NF Geeks. Um, we have a typing lottery. You can win a t free typing, um, personality typing, or you can be typed professionally by me, um, you know, through the MBTI. Uh, come follow us on Twitter and on Tumblr. And as always, uh, it's happening. Uh, right? Is it happening? It's if, happening. It's happening. If David Kersey says it's happening, how could you deny? You can't even deny that. Nerd it's from the 60s says it's happening. That's right. So it's got to be happening. All right. Well, thank you. All right.